Good morning, modern steaders. I got a fun experiment to try today. Thumbnail and the title might already tell you what the video is. But if it doesn't, I give my animals warm water in the wintertime. We give our animals warm water in the wintertime. They're outside, they're not in heated buildings. And for me, I like a nice hot cup of coffee in the morning to warm myself up. Or if we've been outside sledding or snowshoeing, a nice cup of hot coffee or hot cocoa feels good. So I do the same thing for the animals. And everybody's always saying, you shouldn't do that. Hot water freezes before cold water. And today we're gonna find that out. I have a few theories of my own, but let's test them and see what we find out. Ready for school this morning. You got to practice your little hard out and band today for your concert this week. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see that. Okay. It's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love you. love you. So I have a theory I wanna test on the freezing of hot water versus cold water. Let me give you my disclaimer again. I am not a scientist. I only play a scientist on YouTube. So what my theory is, is when it comes to hot water freezing before cold water, that's gonna have to do with the amount of water. If it's a drop of water or like vapor, yes, I think it's gonna freeze faster. If it's a, whoa, walking on ice guys, we gotta be careful. If it's a large amount of water, that it's not gonna freeze faster. That's my theory. We're gonna test it and find out. First, we need to feed and water hot water. Moose and his ladies of New York City. Some people think it's my accent and I'm trying to say New York, but I say New York. It's not. I have an accent. I will agree. But it's New York City. Coming out. Nice. You pooped all over your tire. You girls aren't supposed to do that. Here, you want some grain out here? There you go. Four eggs. One of them, two of them are warm. But the last two, they're lukewarm. You ready to go in, Pluto? It's 18 degrees Fahrenheit outside with a two mile per hour wind blowing. Bring out four mason jars. We'll set them outside while we get set up and get them cold. Putting a piece of paper down, this way we can write on it. And we can remember which one's which. One of the reasons we're using the mason jars is they have the increments right on them and let you know how much water we have. This way we can make sure we have the same amount of water in every glass. We're gonna do hot water, cold water, hot water, and cold water. For a digital thermometer, I'm gonna use our Thermapen MK4. Very accurate and a quick reading. Hot water, cold water. I'm not using boiling water because when I water my animals, I don't give them boiling water. This is what I use for water temp. If you'd like to see me do a water test with hot water, cold water, and boiling water, leave it in the comments down below. So for this first one, I thought we would test a cup. So let's go oops, right up to this mark. So it'll be three quarters of a cup and three quarters of a cup Let's get the temperatures so we know for sure. 51, 122. On this one, let's do a quarter of a cup. and a quarter of a cup, and we'll see if it makes a difference with the amount of water. Let's 
start our timer. Got the timer going, and let's see. This one it looks like the vapors are starting to cool really fast. The hot water. Not seeing that on the cold water. We have vapors on this one, but they're still warm. Where these vapors, they're not frozen yet, but they're getting there. The other thing I want to keep an eye on is I spilled hot water here. So we got some hot water droplets right there. And then we have cold water droplets over here. And let's see which one freezes faster for cold versus hot. And we are at 49, 116, 45, 104. I think when it's talking about hot water, it's more of the vapors that are gonna freeze before anything. Because we're already frosting up right there. Can you see that on the camera? If you look and see, those are, f oh, yeah, that's ice right there. So we are three minutes and 18 seconds in. The hot water drop right here is frozen. It's not solid, but the outside's frozen. This drop is starting to get, I can't push through that. That, uh, it's like a gel ice. And this cold water one is still kind of more pliable. It's more liquid. We're at 32 there. But that one is hard. Can you hear it? If I tap it, it's hard. This one, which is cold water, if I tap it, I can go right through it. slush. Reminds me of the button candies that we used to eat as kids. That's pretty wild though. It's already hard. That one's still slushy. 107. 48. 42. 86. Then you can see all the vapors froze up on this one. These vapors haven't frozen yet on this hot water one, which I believe there's so much wa warm water in there that it's keeping the vapors warm and keeping them from freezing. Where this one down low, the vapors still aren't frozen yet, but the higher up you go, they are. Interesting. All right, we're 21 minutes in. Let's check and see the water temps. All right, the first one is at 81 for hot. Cold water temp is down to 40. Hot water temp for a quarter cup of water is down to 52. So this one's still warmer than the cold water that has a lot more in it. This little one is down to 33. That's gonna start freezing pretty soon. These little ice balls are hard, hard, this hot water one is a solid block. Look at that. It even has air bubbles frozen solid in it. The vapors on the quarter cup of hot water down low are still unfrozen. Up high are frozen. These vapors are not frozen at all. Oh, if you look, can you see it freezing already, guys? See the ice forming? 20 minutes in, look at that. Can we see it from above? A little bit. Yeah, look at that forming right on top. All right, let's check it and see. Yeah, look at the ice right on top. So 24 and a half minutes in, our first cup of cold water is already showing signs of ice. No hot water is frozen yet. That's awesome. <laughs> My hands are getting cold. <sighs> I'm gonna let these sit for a few more minutes and then we'll check them.
So let's write that time down. This was, I believe, 23 minutes. Let's check this one. It's been 33 minutes, so another 10 minutes. Water temp is at 41 degrees. This one, holy moly, guys, can you see that? It's already starting to freeze up on the top layer. I don't know if we can see that in camera. Can you see it now? Yeah, see the ice forming? Just right, thin layer of ice. We are at 32. This one we are at 62. All right, so let's keep an eye on this. We'll give it another couple of minutes and I bet you we will be frozen up. Let's check this one, see how much ice we have now. Can we see? Okay, we can poke it. It's very thin, but it's frozen. Look at that, that's just crazy. We're gonna give that other cold water one a couple more minutes and we'll check it to see how much more ice we can get on it. We are 41 minutes in and the top of that is frozen pretty good. The sides and ah, yeah, the sides are starting to get ice crystals on it too. Let's check and see how thick it is. Broke right through, but there's a complete thin layer of ice. So we're gonna call. So I'm gonna call that second one froze at 41 minutes. Let's check the hot water that we poured in a quarter of a cup. Let's see, temperature 35, 36. I don't see any ice crystals forming. Let's check this one for the heck of it. It's actually cooled off quite a bit, 55. I'm gonna come back out in about five minutes to check that other hot water one. I think that's about what it's gonna to take to freeze it up. Let's go back and check and see if any more is frozen. Give me your guesses. It is, Let's see what the time's been. You guys know better than I do because this has been like on and off, in and out, and for you it's a continuous video. So it's been 51 minutes. So what's that, six minutes since we checked last? Wondering if that hot water's frozen. Oh, I think I see some ice crystals. Yep. Looks like they're just starting to form a little bit. Let's see if we can break it. Oh, so, very thin. Just starting to form. And then this one, I think that's almost frozen. Right to the bottom. Let's see. Oh, wow, I can't even break it. We're just lightly tapping. There we go all the ice crystals and this one we can still break it fairly easily see it on the sides all the ice crystals let's check this one water temp is oh, 48 49 up top, 51. So we're still at 33 degrees, 32, 33 on that hot water one, and that's why it's not completely frozen yet. I bet you it's like 32 and a half degrees. Another couple of minutes, I bet you it'll be frozen. And then the full glass of hot water is at 45. My guess is that full glass of hot water is going to take another hour to freeze. Bet you we're going to be pushing two hours before we get any ice on that one. Leave it in the comments down below and how long do you think it's going to take for that last one to freeze. I'm getting cold. I'm going to go in the house and warm up while I wait a few minutes. Almost an hour and five minutes in. And that's completely frozen. So we're going to call the first hot water one at an hour, five minutes. First one took 23 minutes, 41 minutes, an hour and five minutes. Water temperature is 44. 
Look at all the ice crystals forming. And the vapor on the top of the glass is just starting to freeze in some areas. I don't know how much cold water is in here, but that jug's already starting to freeze. See the ice crystals on the outside? How about inside? Inside, yeah. This one's still nice and warm. Oh, I didn't even think of that. What's the temperature? All right, the temp on the almost a gallon full jug is still 86, 87. Hour and 15 minutes into it. And let's see if the last hot water glass is frozen at all. Nope. Temperature is 41. We're just over an hour and a half in to the freeze review. Do you think that last hot water glass is frozen or not? I'm starting to see some ice crystals form. So right here is clear water and that temp is 33. So that must be like the chimney and it's letting the heat escape. And then all around it, can you see that? See the triangle right here? It's pretty wild. Then all around it is ice crystals. I'm gonna say in about another 10 minutes, that'll be completely frozen. We're at 32 right now. Look at them ice crystals, that's wild. The sides are starting to get ice on them. That's frozen pretty good right there. This one's frozen a little bit less than this one. And then that one's, this one you can break through it still if you want to. Let's see how all the ice is. It's very thin layer of ice all over the top. So we're gonna call that one at 147. So hot water took more than double the time as it did for the cold water to freeze with the same amount of liquid. That's just mind blowing. And now we can say, hey, guess what? You're wrong. Hot water does not freeze before cold water. It's actually interesting to see it took triple the time from this one to this one to freeze. And then this one took a little over half. Interesting. And then the droplets froze pretty quick versus the cold water. And the sides of the glass have got ice on them pretty good too. Something came in the mail today I think you'll like for you. Yeah, it says Olivia Alumna. Don't say my name. Do you know what it is yet? You're gonna need it this afternoon when we go out and do the animal chores. <laughs> Looks to me like a kitty hat, like whiskers and then cat ears. Mm -hmm. What do you say? You. We don't know who sent it, but thank you. You gonna put it on? Mm -hmm. We can go to the goats and the chickens. Yeah. Chickens are goats first. Ah, goats. Nice yeah. kitty hat. Is it keeping you nice and warm? Looks good. You coming this way, Pluto? Come on. You goats looking for more hay. Watch out, stay in. I gotta fix this gate. 
the frost I think raised that post up a little bit so it's not latching right. Or it is, but it's hard. So I want to get like a rope or a cable to lock it up with. It's hard, isn't it, Livy's? Yeah. The lock right now. Buttercup! You're silly. Water stayed defrosted all day. Come on, Pluto. Sink and you need your snowshoes. How was band practice today? Good. Good. You guys all ready and girls all ready for your winter concert? Yeah. That's good. I guess so. Did you already get some eggs this morning? I got three this morning. So either you're gonna get two or three right now. I bet you're right. Moose, are you under New York City? What's that? I think we got two yesterday. Yep, go ahead. I'm gonna unlock that one. You got any? I what? No, man! We got skunked. And not like the skunked we got this summer by a skunk, huh? Mm -hmm. Where is he? He's under oh, New York there. City. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I said we got skunked in our chicken coop this summer, I'll put a link to that video right here. <sighs> There's always something going on, that's for sure. Never a dull moment. Hey, guess what? Yeah. I did the freezing water test. Which one do you think freezes first? Hot water. Hot water? Why do you think hot water? Because it's warmer and when the two temperatures like, um, um, I don't know, I guess mixed together, the hot water freezes faster. Do you think it depends on how much water there is? On which one freezes faster? Probably. So this is the result. If there's just a little bit of hot water and a little bit of cold water, it freezes faster. If there's like a cupful, like a quarter of a cup or a whole cup, the hot water freezes slower. Like three times slower. That makes sense. Yep. Because the cold and the cold makes it colder. It's hot, like a lot of hot. A lot of hot keeps Against, it. Like just a little bit cold keeps it. Yep. Hot. So now we know. So it's been just over six hours now. And I'm curious to see how frozen these all are, if it made a difference. This one, which is a little bit in cold water. If you look, bring you up close. You can see air bubbles moving around. So this one's not completely frozen yet either. And then we have hot water. And this one's not completely frozen. You can see inside, can you see like the bubble shape? Not the, just the air bubble, but inside here, see this? That's all unfrozen water too. The large amount of cold water, just the top thin layer there and on the bottom trying to find out and just a thin thin layer on the bottom is frozen hot water just a tiny air bubble right here you see that moving around a thin layer of ice on the outside this one just a thin layer curious to see but the gallon jug, that's not frozen. A little bit of slush on the top right here. A 
you coming to check up on us, Figaro? Crazy cat. Huh? You had to come say hello? Hey. You wanted to say hi? You wanna say hi? It is cold outside, guys. It got down to nine degrees and it's only seven o'clock at night. It's gotta be a cold one tonight. The moon is out. You probably can't see that on camera. I guess you can. Right there's the moon. Nice crescent moon. We gotta lock up New York City. Look at the breath. <laughs> I'm gonna lock up New York City. I'll come right back in like two seconds. We'll be over by the goat barn where the lighting is better. Let's see if we can get the crescent moon better on the side. It's right there. It's not really showing up good, is it? I think I'm either coming down or something or my body's fighting something. The cold is really bothering me today. Hopefully whatever it is, I'll sleep it off tonight. Feel better in the morning. But I ended up pulling the trigger and I ordered our Christmas present today. Today was the last day I had to order it for the deal we got. So I'm pretty excited. We won't see it until March. And once we get it, there's not much we can do with it anyways. Probably until April, if not May. Hope you guys are having a great holiday season. I wanna keep pushing us forward about planning and thinking about our homestead in the next five, 10, 15 years and what they can look like if we put the effort in. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Bye. You want some hay? Huh? You want some hay? Blub, blub, blub.